Hey, this is Tan, and uh, this is going to be a, a really short video to talk about the goal tracking instability. So um, I'm going to take this plan that you get with your workspace. So when you create a workspace, there's a sample plan that is created for you. And the idea of the sample plan is to show you what stability will look like once you use it week after week after week with a few teams, um, with the team. So for instance, here we have a goal of reaching an NPS of, of 60, and you can see that uh, we had a slow start and now things are getting much better. And so let's take a look first at what the, the edit view of that plan looks like. So you can see our objectives here, our key results and the tasks. So the tasks are here to help, you on, help us understand how we're going to move a needle on the different key results that we have. Um, and now if I take it back to this view, this is what we can see here. So we have a progression uh, and to create a check-in, it's really easy. You just click here. You're going to create your new check-in. For instance, let's say that we're like at 34. I'm going to say that I'm still on track um, and I'm going to write an update. Now, what is really important is what you put into your update because the idea is to help the people that are reading this to understand how you got to where you are today. Um, what are you doing to achieve that goal of 60 by the end of the quarter? Uh, so I would start by saying uh, something quite positive in this case. Uh, we're on track. Um, great work by the team. And so the next thing I'll say, um, we managed to, uh, to, 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 so where were we? So 28 to increase the NPS by doing XX, you know, basically describing the things that we've done and then say, you know, we believe that we can still, uh, get to our goal if we do A, B, C. Right. And so this is kind of like the, how things will look like if I needed help from a team, I would add it here as well. Um, over here, you can see the task that we had uh, to complete. Um, if I complete a task, it's actually going to show up on the graph. Like I'll show it to you in the overview. Um, it's not showing in here so that we can keep things simple, but so I can mark this as completed. And then in the task that we have here, I can say, you know what? Identify top five requested feature um, has been done and it's going to show up on the graph. And the idea is to help you map uh, the work that you do to how uh, it influences your goal. Now, this update that you see here, why is this important? It, it, it's important because when people are going to come, um, you know, we have this presentation view. So if I switch to the presentation view, it's the same plan, but it takes the, the text that you put into your update was recent update. And this is the thing that people are going to read. And that's a view that, you know, someone outside of your team is probably going to use to understand what's going on. They're going to scan top to bottom what's happening. They're going to be able to see the latest update, the latest metric, but also this is the part that really gives the context, like puts, uh, fleshes out what's happening. And, uh, and then they can click on any of the goals, um, to get, uh, to get more detail, to see the graph, to see the task that had, um, the, the task that you, you completed and that update, once again, the latest check-in is going to be appearing here. So make sure that when you update progress on your key results or progress on your goals, uh, you not only, you know, add the latest metric, that's the easy part, but you also talk about, sorry, talk about how you got to where you are today and, um, and really help people outside of your team to understand if you need help or if you believe that you're on track or if there's something that people can do for you. Okay, that's it. Thank you.